Switch inside. You're coming in, you're passing to this D. Open up around the circle. Switch it sides, in and shoot. You guys remember that one? Yeah. Let's go. Hurry! This past weekend, the St. Louis Junior Blues hosted Central Division rival, the Milwaukee Power. With both teams battling for the top spot, the weekend had an added significance. Saturday's game saw the Junior Blues jump out to an early lead on a goal from Dante Jones just 37 seconds into the game. Now in front, Jones, shot, he scores! Straight away, Dante Jones! Just 37 seconds in, the Junior Blues have the lead! 1-0 courtesy of the man from Toronto, Canada! The power scored quick to tie up the game, but Colton Markowitz would respond with a goal a minute later to give St. Louis the lead again. Now to Beaver score. And had it and lost it. Very good job there by Baginski. Markowitz goes to the he scores! Colton Markowitz! He found a little opening, and that's all you need. Afterwards, the scoring would settle down until the third period, which would see the power be able to tie the game up, and both teams having to decide the contest in a shootout. Will Baginski scored the only goal in the shootout, and Mikhail Fouché stopped all three power shooters to give St. Louis the 3-2 win. Save me! St. Louis wins! You can put it on the board! The Junior Blues get the W over Milwaukee! What a game! What a finish! What a story! With valuable points on the line, both teams were prepared for another tough battle in game number two. The physicality was present from the opening face-off, which would lead to multiple penalties throughout the game for both teams. This time, however, Milwaukee would get on the scoreboard first in the second period on a goal from former Junior Blue Ethan Dabbs. But again, a quick response from the Junior Blues, this time from Matthew Monreal, would send things into the third period tied at one apiece. Baginski now. The Gallagher's off in front. Monreal scores! Matt Monreal! Pops it up! Over top of 16, and we're tied! third period would be a story of special teams, seeing the Blues finally breaking through on the power play with a goal from Jake Faulkner early on. Junior Blues will have a minute 24 and counting of five on three. As Faulkner scores, Jake Faulkner! It's a power play goal! And they'll still have a minute 38 on the man advantage. Later in the third period, after a continued physical battle, Joe Papa would score on the power play after drawing a penalty on Milwaukee, which would hold up as the game-winning goal. Turn pass, one time it through, Trevor right in front, it's Papa! It's Joey Papa! It's a power play goal! The captain does it! And this crowd is out of their chairs! Once again, a 3-2 final score would be enough to seal the victory for St. Louis. Yes! The Junior Blues win it! They sweep Milwaukee with a 3-2 win! Yeah, it was a big four points this weekend. Um, you know, we, uh, we battled through a little adversity. 
and uh, it was a good test for us to kind of see where we're at right now. And um, again, it's a big four points, so it's a uh, it's big, big weekend. So it was fun. And it's big. Um, they're a pretty good team, and we want to be uh, the top dog of the division. So uh, for sure, we're really prepared for those game, and uh, we're pretty satisfied with the win. But we know we can do better. So uh, we're looking forward to play against them again. The upcoming schedule only provides a short time for the team to celebrate the sweep, having to turn their attention toward the next two games against the Peoria Mustangs to round out the homestand. They're another uh, physical team. They're, uh, they're in the same position uh, we were in last weekend, chasing us in the standing. So uh, we know this is a big weekend for them as well, and uh, it's another big weekend for us. So we're, uh, we're expecting another hard fought four points, and uh, it's not going to be an easy weekend. So we're going to come out and uh, take care of business, hopefully. Despite picking up all four points against Milwaukee, the team knew they had some aspects of their game to iron out. A tough week of practice put the players through the paces in order to get ready for the incoming visitors from Illinois. Earlier this season, St. Louis split a series on the road with the third place Mustang, so the team has an expectation of their next Central Division opponent. They're definitely going to be a very aggressive, uh, saying that they're our rival. I mean, given that's a, that's a given. But uh, I think that they're going to be moving the puck a lot. Uh, they've had a lot more time to, to you know, play up against us, and uh, I, think they'll, I think they'll be good, but we'll, we'll be better. I mean, like Marco said, they're our rival, so we know it's going to be a great hockey game, and uh, we're going to be ready for it for sure. In addition to the wins this weekend, St. Louis players also picked up individual honors, with Mikhail Fouché being named the North American 3 Hockey League Central Division Star of the Week. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy for sure, but uh, I couldn't do it without the help of my teammates. You know, I got five guys in front of me every time, uh, giving me a chance to stop easy pucks. So, I mean, I couldn't do it uh, without them for sure. And Matthew Monreal earning a spot among the league's top five plays. The Junior Blues enter the final two games of their home stand against Peoria with an 8 2 record in their last 10. After playing against the Mustangs, they will travel north to Minnesota for the league showcase, looking to build off of what they've established at home.